Hello everyone, this is Jack and today I'm covering five ways to water your garden. So without any delay, let's get right into it. The first way to water your garden is by using the open water system or the flooding system. This system has been used for centuries and this is the most effective way to water your garden. I attached a valve to my in-ground sprinklers and then I ran a half inch pipe which feeds my garden beds. The sprinkler turns on, it basically floods each bed and this is a very effective way of watering your plants. This method deep waters the plant so you only need to water your plants every four to seven days. The second way to water your garden is by using bubblers on a half inch pipe. Now I attach a valve to my built in sprinklers and then I have a fitting going onto a half inch tubing. I fix the T joint on my outlet. I then loop the half inch tubing back to the sprinkler for even pressure. I then punched a hole in the half inch tubing and inserted the bubblers according to my needs wherever I want water for my plants. This is a very custom way to water your garden. You can adjust the water flow for each one of these bubblers. And here is the system at work. I have a separate video on this setup, so if you'd like to know how to set this up, the link is in the description. The third method to water your garden is by using half inch PVC pipe. I drill holes in the half inch PVC pipe using one sixteen inch drill and then I join the half inch PVC pipe using elbow joints and T joints and I don't even use the glue because I use a valve to control the pressure of the water in the PVC pipe. Now in this system you actually need this valve because you want to be able to control the water pressure otherwise the water will spray out of the holes all over the place. So here is the whole setup. I have a main pipe then I have four runners with holes and the water is going to be sprinkling out of each one of these holes to provide water to the plants. I also capped the ends of the runners. I have a separate video on how to set up this system. The link is in the description. The fourth way to water your garden is by using half inch drip pipe. For this setup, I also attach the half inch tubing to the in-ground sprinkler. You can buy a half inch drip pipe with emitters already built in, or you can buy emitters separately. You can then punch holes in the half inch pipe wherever you want the emitters. The fifth way to water your garden is by using one quarter inch drip pipe. Now the reason why I'm mentioning one quarter inch drip pipe separately from one half inch drip pipe is because the one quarter inch drip pipe comes with emitters at every six inches and I love to use the quarter inch drip pipe in my raised beds. Again for this setup I attached the half inch pipe to my in-ground sprinklers and then ran the half inch pipe to my raised beds where I can attach one quarter inch drip pipe. One downside of using the quarter inch drip pipe is that it only supports 13 feet of run for each outlet. Now the way I've gotten around it is that instead of tying the other end, I actually insert the other end back into the half inch pipe, which creates another outlet, so it supports 26 feet of run. The half inch drip pipe and the quarter inch drip pipe is the most efficient way to water your garden. And I use a hack by straightening out paper clips to stick my quarter inch drip pipe. It's cheap and it works really well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in another video.